This is about the most you can get back. It's a little bit over 47,000 without setting off any flags. What's up guys? I'm back with another video. This time we're doing Tax Slayer. This right here is how it will look after you create an account and log in. Right here they ask you about personalized support. I personally don't want it, so I just go to remind me later. And then it'll bring you to the page if you want to pay or you want to file for free. I just select file for free. And then it comes to your personal information. You just want to put everything about you. For video purposes, I'll skip this part. This right here is additional information. You just want to click continue. On this page, how do you want to file? I'll just click single. Do you have any dependents or any kids? Yes or no? Did you get a pin from the IRS? Hopefully not, select no. You want to review all your personal information and select continue. Let's do it. Hashtag slay it. You want to add form, so you want to click continue. And then on form search, type W2. Right there, and then select continue. You're doing great, continue. On this page, you want to put all of your employer information. For this example, I'll be using Carvana. If you didn't know, Carvana is a marketplace where you can buy cars online. And then you want to go down to the wages. For this example, I'll be putting down that I made $96,000. You can put down whatever amount you want, but you don't need to go super high to get super high refunds. You can do it low and you can still get the same amount. Now we have to see how much taxes are withheld. Okay, now we go to the single tax bracket. And we can see here that our amount is over 89075 but not over 170050 So automatically the taxes withheld is $15,213.50 plus the access of what goes over the $89,075. So we go to the calculator and we have to do our number 96000 minus 89075 and that will give us our number that goes over the 89000 And there you go, it's $6,925. So now we have to see what is 24% of this. So we'll do 6,925 minus 24%. $1,662. Now we have to add that plus the fifteen thousand two hundred and thirteen dollars and fifty cents.
And that's our total amount right there, $16,875. And now we move on down to the Social Security wages. I always say we need to put this three to five thousand dollars below the federal. So we'll put ninety two thousand and then we'll go down to the Medicare and put the same exact number, ninety two thousand. Now we have to see how much taxes are withheld. And right here it says six point two percent. So we'll go to our calculator. And we'll do 92,000 minus 6.2%. And that should give us our number. And there you go. $5,704. We'll put that in box four. For the Medicare, we'll do the same thing. We'll go look, and right here it says 1.45%. So we'll go back to our calculator again, and we'll do 92,000 minus 1.45%. And our number is $1,334. You want to put that in box six. And we're done with that part. Now we go on down the state. Select whatever state you want. I'll select Illinois. But it does impact your refund. Whatever state you put, it's a total different refund. For the employer's ID number, we'll be using Carvana again. For the state wages, you want to put it about five to ten thousand dollars above the federal. Now we have to go see in the state you selected how much taxes are being withheld. Right here it says four point nine five percent. So we'll go back to our calculator and we'll do 102,000 minus 4.95%. And there you go, $5,049. We'll put that in box 17 and that's done. You wanna click continue? And your amount should pop up on the right side. Okay, this is how much federal and state you'll get back using the correct percentages. But let me show you how you can get back over 47000 I'm not saying it won't work, because for some people it will work. But you have a higher chance with the correct percentages. Now you can do this with TurboTax, H&R Block, any tax platform you choose. The amount for federal is 39.5% and the amount for state is 28.5%. I just wanted to show you guys this clip to show you that you can get over 47,000. There's a lot of people out there saying you get 30, 35, but you can actually get 47,000. And there you go, about 24,000 for federal and for state. But let's get back to filing a normal way. And right here, you can add another W-2 if you like to. If not, just click continue. Continue. Affordable Care Act insurance plans. Select no and then continue. Let's get started on your state return.
for your state return they want you to put your ID information I'll put mine in here and select continue so you can see how it looks congratulations this right here is the next page and you just want to finish everything in e-file Once again, thanks to you guys and peace out.